60 yes, he is going to retire. Discount rate is 10 percent. How to do? 60 minus 56, 60 minus 57, 60 minus 58, 60 minus 59, 60 years he is going to retire. So there are two types of employees are there. One is called skilled employees, another is called unskilled employees. Hello my dear student. I am Dr. B.S. Subramanya, called by name Dr. B.S.S., Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidyasham, University College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Today, I am going to have Corporating According to Four Semester Unit 5, Session 2 of BCom in favor of Human Resource According. In the last session, we discussed only theory part. This session, we are going to solve the problems of human resource accounting. At the time of retirement, how much money he is going to get if he had 60 years of life or totally the total life may be at the time of retirement maybe 60 years. Now they made the 60 years previously it was only 58 years. How much money he is going to get that we are going to solve. The problem goes like this. Problem on human resources. We are sigma i t minus r. The value of an individual of r years old how many years old, annual earning up to the retirement, retirement age, present age of the employee, discount rate. So we'll go with the problem. This is a problem. Here, this can be written as value, average salary, divided by 1 plus r to the power of n minus r. We can write like this also. Value, human resources value, salary at the time of retirement, discount rate, how many years he has going to retire, or the present age we are going to take into consideration. Assume that. From the following details, compute the value of human resources of an employee group with an average age of 58 years. Annual earning of an employee till the retirement age is rupees 20,000 only. Age of retirement 60,000. Cost of capital 10%. Number of employees. This is a discount rate we say. This is called your discount rate. Ah, we'll apply the formula. He said this is average age. 1 plus 10 percent means 0 0.10 to the power of what's the retirement age here 58 how many years are there 60 how to do 60 minus 58 60 minus 59 20,000 1.10 0 .10, 60 minus 58 20,000 1.10 60 minus 59 60 years he is going to retire so 20,000, 1.10 to the power of 2, 20,000, 1.10 to the power of 1, 20,000, 1.10 into 1.10 is 1.21, this is 20 divided. If we divide this now, 20,000 divided by 1.21, we'll get 16,528.92, 18,181.81, the total value becomes 34,710.73. How many employees are there? Number of group 10 is there. Multiply 10, it will come 3,47,107.13. So 10% means 0 0.10. The formula is 1 plus R discount rate is 10, 1.10. T in retirement is 60 minus 58, 60 minus 59. Now, second one. 56 years, 60 years. Uh, discount rate is 10 percent. How to do? 60 minus 56, 60 minus 57, 60 minus 58, 60 minus 59, 60 years he is going to retire. Here, here same 34,000. See that amount. Here, what's the amount you got? 34,000, 1.10, 60 minus 56. 34,000, 1.1060 minus 57, 34,000, 1.1060 minus 58, 34,000, 1.1060 minus 59. This is 
1.10 to the power of 4, 1.10 to the power of 3, 1.10 to the power of 2, 1.10 to the power of 1. This will come 34,001.4641, 34,001.331, The value will come 23,222.46. 25,544.70, How many employees are there? 8. Multiplied by 8, you got the total value of the 8 employees will work out 8,62,209. Hope, same type you have solved here, last one. So there are two types of employees are there. One is called skilled employees, another is called unskilled employee. Type is same, one is skilled employee, another is unskilled employee. See that retirement age, he got the 50,000 annually, he will get 50,000, he will get 30,000. Age of retirement, 65 years, 62 years, discount rate 15,000, 62 years, 60 day. So 62 means 65 minus 62, 65 minus 63, 65 minus 64, here, six, 62 is there, 60 minus 60, 60, 60 minus 61, only two years. We'll go with the skilled employee, 50,000, 1.15 to the power of 65 minus 62, 50,000, 1.15 to the power of 65 minus 63, 50,000, 1.15 to the power of 60 minus 54. So 50,000 divided by 1.15 to the power of 3, 50,000, 1.15 to the power of 2, 50,000, 1.15 to the power of 1. So 50,000 divided by 1.5209, 50,000, 1.3225, 50,000, 1.5. This is 1.15 into 1.15 into 1.15. This one. 1.15 into 1.15 it work over 1.3225 1.5. If we divide from the calculator, 50,000, this is 50,000 divided by 50,000 divided by 1.5209. So it will work out 32,875.5. 27. This is 37,807.18, 434878. So 50,000, if you want, 50,000 divided by 1.5209. So 32,875.27, then 37,807.18. 43478.5. Totally it will work out 1,14,160.71. Then second one, unskilled employees, 30,000, 1.15 to the power of 62 minus 60, 30,000, 1.15 to the power of 62 minus 61, 30,000, 1.15 to the power of 2, 30,000, 1.15 to the power of 1. So 30,000, 1.3225, 30,000, 1.15. So 30,000, 30,000, 1.3225, 22,684.31, this one. So it totally it works out 48,771.27. Total value for 25 employees, it will come 12,19,281.75. This goes in favor of unskilled employee. So we have got skilled employee and unskilled employees. Total of skilled and un unemployees are skilled employee total, this one, 22,83,214.2. Unskilled employee total, 12,1928.5. The total human resources value, 35,2495.95. So 10 mass question, about three problems. Here totally it works out, four problems are there. All the formula remains the same. This is one plus R, discount rate, 
the rate of retirement or say age of retirement that is most important see that with an average of 60 years age of retirement 60 minus 56 60 minus 57 60 minus 58 60 minus 59 that we have to do it this is the base this you have to take then this is a discount rate you have to take hope you understand point this is very important this average is 50 both are again how to do that 1 plus R average salary here 34,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.10 to the power of 50, 60 minus 56, 60 minus 57, 60 minus 58, 60 minus 59, 60 years he is going to retire. So this is the how many employees are 8 multiplied by 8. Hope you understand that. So one theory question will come. The theory is what is human resource accounting, advantage and disadvantage will come. I solved the problems also regarding the human resource account, this type of problem, then it may ask for 10 marks or 5 marks. So this is a type of the question we can expect from the examination of point of view. And so be careful. So there are 6 units are there. They may ask the one unit, first unit, general insurance. They may ask the revenue account, only revenue account they can ask, a revenue account in the balance sheet. Second is life insurance. Generally, the question will be life insurance balance sheet they are going to ask. Third is the, you have got the social responsibility of accounting, only theory question will come. Then fourth is, uh, we have got holding company consolidated balance sheet. Fifth one is human resource accounting, theory question will come. Sixth one, inflation accounting, you got the theory. So theory question, we read out, important question, the one the question, you refer the two or three years question paper, same type of question will come. Hope you understand the problems very well. I saw in this session, I saw about the three problems about rehuman resource occurring. Hope you understand that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Best of luck in the coming exam. Hope we do well. Best of luck to my students, to all my students. Best of luck in the examination.